Hey guys, this is Ryan from IamTheKiller.net and today I'm going to be showcasing Snow Leopard which has since shipped specifically Finder and Expose slash Spaces. So to get started I'm going to open up my website, Google, and then my Applications folder. So here we go, we got three windows open so you can go like this. This is the standard um, Expose move all your windows to the front so I can see them. Now if you hit tab this is going to show you the windows specific to the applications in the dock which is pretty nifty so if you want to see only your Safari windows or if you only want to see your uh, finder windows let's open a few more So from here you can see all your windows. I only want my Safari window or if I only want my Finder windows. So we can go back into here. Let's close those up. Now what's pretty cool is you can do this on a spaces level. So let me go ahead and open spaces. Now I've got my four spaces and independently I can run this command and you can see tab goes over your spaces so I can run this to see you know I open them all up so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over a space uh, specifically I'm gonna go down a space my docs gonna change because I have specific docs um, and it's gonna take me back up that's not what I wanted but let's go back down here and we're gonna open up some new finder windows uh, gonna put them all in my applications Okay, and so from here you can see I have my three windows open. So let's go back into spaces. Now if we hit that window it's going to be applied to all of them which is pretty awesome. Uh, so from here you can hit that and then drag over. Um, what's nice is when you move these over the windows resize. This feature um, really wasn't spoken about um, you don't really see it getting showcased um, in parts of the blogs and stuff like that. So let's go back into this space. My doc's going to change again. Okay, so now let's talk about Finder. Finder's been, for what I can understand, completely rewritten. Um, I'm using a uh, three-year-old MacBook. It's got a 7200 RPM drive, however it is not the fastest. Um, so you can see scrolling with all these nice huge icons is really smooth. Let's blow these up. I mean it's, it's super smooth, super fast. These icons show up real fast. I mean it's like it, it's completely redone. So let me go to my desktop, go back to my applications folder, they're still there. Uh, we can go into CoverFlow, pull that down. I mean, CoverFlow is, it's beautiful now. Before it was kind of slow and laggy and it wasn't, it wasn't that good. Now it's like, hey, this is, you know, this is what it should have been. So I'm going to go back and close this. Another few f minor things, um, like if I select something like this, you can watch it disappears. It doesn't just instantly go away. Yeah, it's a minor thing, but for somebody who's you know OCD, I kind of like it better. Uh, once again, you can see things within their icon. For example, I can blow this up. And I can play it within its icon, which is kind of cool. Um, it's kind of cool, but at the same time, it's like, yeah, we had Quick Look, so I don't really see the point. You can still use Quick Look to bring those up. Um, and a kind of weird feature is when you Quick Look something, like I'm going to Quick Look this, it's playing, and now when I close it, okay, it didn't do it that time, but sometimes it keeps playing. Kind of awkward. So you have to go back and pause it. That's, that's kind of weird for an audio file. So yeah, this is my short little video for today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. 
I should be writing an article on how I'm going to change my workflow with spaces now that it does this new expose sort of thing. I'm kind of upset because my favorite application hyperspaces is not currently supported on Snow Leopard. Um, from what I understand, he's working on it. So that should be coming shortly. And I'm doing a full redesign of my website, IamTheKiller.net. So look for that in the coming future. Uh, thanks for watching.